Marinades are the secret to many delicious meals. Marinades not only tenderize, but also add flavor to a protein. A marinade can make a lesser cut of beef taste amazing, and chicken dishes come alive with flavor when you use a marinade. Gourmet Warehouse marinades are an authentic marinade. Gourmet Warehouse will help a novice cook appear to be a rock star in the kitchen with just using a Ziploc bag, protein, and the marinades. Experienced chefs and foodies appreciate the high quality ingredients in these marinades. So today, we're visiting Maxwell's Restaurant here on Long Island and meeting with Chef Billy Muzio to see what he's creating using Gourmet Warehouse marinades. And later, Chef Muzio will be preparing a recipe using another Taste of New York favorite, the flavors of Ernest Hemingway. Hi, I am Chef Billy Muzio here at my kitchen at Maxwell's in Islip. And today we're gonna to be cooking a California Caribbean jerk steak taco, going with our Gourmet Warehouse Island Jerk Marinade. And I'm also using the Gourmet Warehouse Honey Garlic Marinade as well. I like to kind of combine them both. You want to marinate it for at least a minimum of six hours. The reason we combine the two Gourmet Warehouse marinades is because the one honey garlic has that sweeter flavor and you get the Island Jerk marinade which obviously has the, the more pungent flavor to it. So I kind of wanted to balance out both and showcase both as well. Our first step, we're going to take our marinated skirt steak and we're going to lay that right across. Now for a mid-rare, I like to cook it three minutes on each side. So we're going to go for three minutes, flip it over for three minutes, and the most important factor is letting it rest. So now we're going to come over here, we're going to make our mixture that's going to go on top of our taco. So we're going to take some baby arugula, some sliced California avocado, some navel orange segments, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and white pepper. So we're just gonna lightly toss this, very gently. And we're gonna throw in some of our chopped cashews as well. And that's it, very simple. All right, so now we're gonna flip our skirt steak. We're gonna to lightly toast our white flour corn tortillas. All right, so we're gonna take our tacos, our tortillas off. Put them in our stand. Makes it a lot easier to plate as well. If you don't have a stand at home, you can just lay them out flat and take our steak off. Now the most important factor of cooking any meat is letting it rest when it comes off the grill. So I like to let it rest three to four minutes. All right, now we're gonna slice our steak up. If you see the grains are going this way, we kinda wanna go a little bit against them so you get a, a nicer cut. So we're gonna take some of the meat Place it in each taco. Now we're going to top it with our mixture. These are our California Caribbean jerk steak tacos, which are perfect for outdoor entertaining for spring and summer. For the second recipe, we're using the flavors of Ernest Hemingway based on the American literary icon for his love of travel, food, and drink. This is a way for you to travel his culinary world from Key West to Cuba, France to Spain to Africa. The flavors allow you to travel the world via taste. The flavor we're using today is the Pilar. The Pilar was Hemingway's 38-foot fishing boat, which coincidentally he purchased in Brooklyn, New York. He regularly fished off the coast of the Florida Keys, including Key West, as well as Cuba in the Pilar. This sauce is handcrafted in small batches and is made with Papa's Pilar dark rum. It's also made with natural ingredients, gluten-free and no high fructose corn syrup. So with our second recipe here, we're gonna be using the flavors of Ernest Hemingway's barbecue sauce, and this one is the Pilar. This is actually already mixed in, but we wanna add more because you wanna get that nice dark flavor to it, and that's what this barbecue sauce provides. So this is a mixture of the barbecue sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of sriracha, some pineapple juice. So while our chicken is cooking, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna make our slaw. So we got green cabbage, purple cabbage, some shaved red onion, some cilantro leaves, and some diced pineapple. So now we got a little vinaigrette here, which is some fresh lime juice, a little bit of sweet chili, some honey, brown sugar, 
we're gonna just lightly toss that. So we're gonna come over back to the flat top. We're gonna gently heat up our tortillas. So again, if you don't have a stand at home, you just lay them flat on a plate. Either way, everyone loves a taco. So again, you like to go from end to end. You don't wanna have any empty bites of just flour tortilla. Load that love up in there. What we'll do next is we're gonna spread a little bit of shredded cheddar. I'm using some white and yellow cheddar. You could use whatever you have. And we're gonna put our slaw, a pineapple cilantro slaw. Try to get some of that pineapple in there. And then we can garnish it with some fresh cilantro leaves. So this is our Hawaiian barbecue chicken tacos going with our Ernest Hemingway Pilar barbecue sauce. So those are our two recipes. Thank you very much for coming to Maxwell's and spending some time with us. Hope you enjoy. We would like to thank Chef Muzio at Maxwell's Restaurant here in Islip for creating these delicious recipes. For more info on Gourmet Warehouse marinades, visit GourmetWarehouse.net. For more info on the flavors of Ernest Hemingway, visit EHGourmet.com.